So here's the lovely new tractor. And I have to get new tires for it because the top part is fine. The tread is brilliant, all's well, but it's aged really badly. And you can see the walls are really cracked. It's bulging in, it's cracking in all the bulges, between the bulges. If you go down here, you can see loads of cracks all the way along. And this is from the sun and weather. You can see here, look at that. I mean, this crack goes all the way like that. Huge long crack. So I've got to get new secondhand tires for my new tractor. And they cost a fortune brand new. So uh, hopefully the lads I'm going to will have some lovely secondhand ones that will suit. And potentially, hopefully, they will have a wider um, surface area because the narrower the surface area, the more uh, damage is done to the soil. When you have wider tires, there's less damage because the weight is spread over a greater area. Kind of like if you look at polar bears' feet, their feet are huge so that they can go across ice. It's the same sort of theory as um, uh, going across soil with a wider uh, wheel body is lighter on the ground, so you get less compaction. So this is the other tire. It's not as bad, but these it still has a lot of wear and tear in it. And it has a big gash. Where's the big gash gone? Huge big gash. Well, there's, see, you can see it's beginning to break up a lot. And um, where's the big gash? There's a bit more of the wear and tear. It's not as bad as the other one. It's a lot better than the other one. But I'd prefer to, if I'm gonna get tires, may as well get two that are the same age, second hand. And also if they're broader, wider base, it's better to travel across the soil and you get less compaction and things like that. So, oh, there it is. There's the big crack that goes, this goes really deep in. And okay, that's part of the tread here. And, but still, I would much prefer, yes, I'd much prefer to have two broad tires than two cracked up tires. So there we go. It's here for uh, when the lads come to um, put new tires on once I go in and see what they've got, if anything suits, because they need the hard ground for the jack. Maya loves getting up in the tractor. It's her new thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now. My new tires, bigger and broader than the ones that I bought. So, new tractor tires. The width makes them kinder on the land. So right here, you can see the difference between the two tires. This was when I brought the tractor out to get the tires fitted, and this is the new tire. Look at the difference of that. You can see the old tire cut really deep into the soil, whereas this broader tire hardly tracks across the soil. So you can see the difference between the two tire tracks. That's the middle of the tire of the old one. This is the middle of the tire of the new one. 
so you can see the difference that it does uh, to the compaction of the soil. This spreads the weight, this digs in the weight because it's narrower. Just like a polar bear crossing the ice, their huge paws spread out so they can go across thinner ice than even a human can because it's a narrower point uh, where the weight is pressing into the soil. So this is hugely important is to have a tractor that doesn't damage the soil over and over and over again when it's being used. So I'm very pleased with the absoluteness that you can see in the results between the old narrow tire and the broad tire. You can just see right there the difference.